Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm on a rocky mark and I'm fishing for, finally, I'm fishing for conger eel. I've, had, I've got a, a pulley rig with a 150 pound straight through. With a size 8 or hook. So I've just have to, I'm really anxious not to, you know what I mean? I've got that type of look where if I look away, I'll get a bite and I'll miss it. But yeah, I'm, you've got, I've got an 8 or on then. I've got a bluey, a half a bluey out. So far, I've got some, I've got two Joey mackerel that I will be putting whole out later on. Uh, low tide is 8.50, I think I said. 8.40, something like that. I'll be fishing until then, and then I'm gonna start moving my gear back on top of that rock over there, and I'll fish it out, I'll fish it back as far as I can. Uh, I did get down here a bit late, uh, I was, chatting to Matty outside his shop um, but yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm happy now that I'm down here I have brought two rods with me but while I'm on this rock I'm only going to fish one rod because this rock this rock is small and it's got seaweed all over it and I haven't brought my studded boots because they were full of water and they stunk <laughs> um, but yeah bluey head out maybe about 40 50 yards straight out so, cross your fingers guys and hopefully we'll get one. Right guys, while I'm waiting for a bit, I've got one prepped up here, hanging on from another another rig. It's basically a really short pulley rig with 100, I did say 150 before, it's actually 100, sorry. Oh, it's a 100 pound mono straight through with just a, a little cheap lead that I found off the beach. You can see already that's already gone rusty, so I don't really care if I lose this one. And then the bait, like I say, it's got an 8 oar on, on the head and it's got a 6 oar uh, panel hook at the top and it's a joey mackerel with tail cut off that's basically it and i'm scoping it like i say 40 50 yards that way so but at the moment the bluey it's only been out 15 minutes and i'm getting no activities so maybe just crabs and stuff like that good so every now and then i do see the, the the tip rattling a little bit but like i said that's probably just crabs having a lot feed on but when that rod tip starts going crazy guys my heart is gonna race right guys i'm getting bites <laughs> uh, I was just on the phone to my sister, leaving them a voicemail. I looked up and my rod tip was hitting like that. Tap, 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 really, really aggressively. So I, I've been told to be really, really patient and wait until the rod tip, like the rod literally arches over. When that cut, when that happens, then hopefully we'll have a fish. But I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna leave the camera running because I want it on the tripod really. I want it of out distance and on the tripod so you can see. All right, so bear with me. <laughs> Boom, light. So yeah, that's the remains <laughs> of that bait. And that was a full bluey, which is about that big from there, about that big. That's how big the bluey was. And it's completely gone after 45 minutes. So it looks like we're gonna have to reduce the time to half an hour and keep changing it like that. Oh, I'm getting a bite, guys. Yeah, that must have been just a bit of tide, guys. There's no movement. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna stick another Joey mackerel on here. And uh, we'll get it on the tripod and get it ready for the next cast. Right, guys, it's really risky of me to, to not keep looking at the rod because I have heard of fish pulling rods in. Hopefully, I can get up, pick it up, and grab it. Right. So there's the next bait, Joey mackerel from Matt's Baits in town in Whitehaven. What I'll do is cut tail off. And then what I'll do is I'll thread it down the bait so the hook, the hook is at the head. All right, I'll just do that now. There we go. And that's what it looks like. Now I'm just gonna whip some uh, bit of elastic on and then that'll be ready to go on the tripod. There, that should do it, I think. So there, that's the bait ready. Just gonna hang it up on the tripod and so did that. Don't worry about them up, but that's just, I don't know why I did that to be honest with you.
Why do you f***ing hold up for me? Guys, I had a f***ing conger on. Sorry for the swearing. I had a conger on, I had it right to the edge of the rocks there. And it snapped my line, it must have got wrapped around a rock or something and I put too much tension on it, popped it right off. And it was a conger as well, I seen it in the water and it was doing its uh, swimming backwards thingy when I got it to the, to the edge there. Yeah, my line is damaged right along there where it's been hitting the rocks. I've just put too much tension on it, it's hit the binnacle and bang. Why does it always happen to me guys? Right, I'm gonna bring myself back together, get a clip out the water, out my bag, out my box, sorry and then get another rig out there that was a nice that would have been a beautiful fish oh, I'll be back right guys now that I've got I've calmed down a bit that was definitely a conger guys I definitely had a conger on I got it right to the rocks and because I was just afraid of getting wet um, and afraid of falling as well because these, these rocks are covered in seaweed um, I was just afraid, I, I, I was afraid of losing the fish, I was afraid of falling, everything. Uh, my heart was racing as well, but yeah, I managed to get it to the edge of the rocks here. Uh, but my dumbass tried to high up, up on top of the rock with the wave, uh, but I must have just given it too much slack at one point and it's just got wrapped around a binnacle and snapped me right off. As soon as I put pressure on it uh, to try and hide, hide over the rock, it had no chance, it just snapped me clean off. Uh, but I've uh, calmed myself down, I've put another clip on. Hold on one second. I've put another clip on, put the bait back, another bait back out, same type of bait, the Joey mackerel. And uh, now we're just gonna wait and see if hopefully another one will come out. I have seen two come out of this rock, out of this mark once before. So it is very possible, so. Fingers are still crossed guys, fingers are still crossed. Please pray for me, <laughs> I need it. Right guys, I've got another bite. I'm not moving this bit. Right, just set tight.
my guys. These fish are doing my head in. Look guys, I don't know if you can see, but look at state that bait. Oh, man alive. That's, that was a bigger fish as well. That one was fighting really well. You must have just had hold of it. God's sake. Right. Yeah. Uh, then I'm gonna have to get in the box, so I'm gonna have to get you off it. But there, look, that's it. That's the remains of that bait. I think what I need to do, guys, because that uh, that first fish I lost, that was on a panel hook with panel hooks. That one only had a single. So, but that was a bigger fish, a much, much bigger fish. I think because I was trying to walk myself down to the edge of the rocks. Uh, just so I can land it this time. I must. I keep on blaming myself. Like I must. I, when I, I've been reeling down, trying to keep it tight, keeping it tight as, as I'm walking down. Torch, stay still, please. Uh, and yeah, I, I, it just, it just let go. Uh, I must just give it too much slack. I don't know. But right, I'm gonna get you uh, off the box so I can get another bait out and get that bait out in the water because there's fish, guys. And then right now it's slack water, so it's prime time. Right guys, that's the end of today's video. Unfortunately, we lost two congas tonight. Um, really pity, to be honest with you. The first one, uh, that was my own fault. I shouldn't have, I should have went down to the edge of the water and lifted it out. But I th uh, like you say, they make mistakes and you learn, don't you? Um, second conga, that one just scoped it on the surface. I think it wasn't even hooked. It was just holding the bait. Uh, but you've seen the state of the bait when I brought it in. It was absolutely demolished. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, mo tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go to Matt's Bait here in town and get some more Joey mackerel off him because they definitely done the business tonight. Um, the, the other mackerel I had, I already had in the freezer, they didn't do now. The bluey didn't do now. But yeah, that them Joey mackerel definitely, uh, definitely brought them congas in for, on the feed just uh, earlier. So yeah, so guys, click on this icon in right here to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click on one of these videos here and yeah thank you very much for watching and keep an eye out for the next video which will be on the same rock fishing for these elusive conger eel. <laughs>